Exercise 3A is about expanding, but it's not expanding quadratics like we've been talking about. This is about expanding cubics or quartics. Okay, so I'll go through a couple of examples. It is actually quite easy. Um, 1A is x, x plus 6, x plus 1. And it's quite simple to do. All you do is you do your standard FOIL on two of them, and then you multiply everything by the, the third term in here. So if I do my FOIL, we'll leave the x out the front. Uh, x squared plus x plus 6x plus 6. So we end up with x squared plus 7x plus 6. And then you multiply everything in there by x. So we end up with x cubed plus 7x squared plus 6x. That's how easy those ones are. It may get a little trickier if you look at question 2. You get x plus 7, x plus 2 x plus 3, and then you just do FOIL on, on one set and keep the other set. So I'll do FOIL on the first set here and keep the third set for later. So we just end up with x squared plus 2x plus 7x plus 14, with x plus 3 still on the end, x squared plus 9x plus 14, x plus 3. And now you do FOIL again, but it's slightly different. You just multiply every term by the two terms in the other bracket. So we'll do x times x and x times, sorry, x squared times x and x squared times 3. So x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times 3 is 3x. Then we'll do 9x times x and 9x times 3. Uh, 9x squared plus 27x. And then you do 14 times x and 14 times 3. So 14x and 14 threes are 42. Then you just go through and, and um, collect like terms and simplify them. And I have a feeling I've done something wrong there. That should be a squared. Yes. So x cubed plus, uh, what's that, 12x squared plus 41x plus 42. So that's the basic principle behind it. It's it's. The same as expanding quadratics, only you've got three brackets instead. Still the basic same principle of first outside, inside, last, although it can get a bit trickier when you're dealing with a quadratic and, and you're trying to expand to another one as well. Um, there are shortcuts for, uh, for perfect squares and things like that. Um, they are in your book, and I'll give you those rules right now. So if you've got x plus or minus a all cubed, you end up with x cubed plus or minus 3x squared a plus 3x a squared and then plus or minus a cubed. Okay, so basically it's 1, 3, 3, 1 with x cubed x squared x, a cubed a squared a. So they sort of work from the outside in. So cubes, squares, singles. Okay.